Générer en ligne pendant que nous acheminons votre appel. Des frais d'interurbain peuvent s'appliquer. Hello. Hello, Brent. Hi. This is Eric Bedar. How are you? Hi, good. How are you? I'm good. First of all, Happy New Year, Brent. Uh, thank you. Happy New Year. <laughs> thank you for spending time at the beginning of the years <laughs> with our radio show. <laughs> hey, no problem. So, uh, Brent, it's going to be quite easy when you're ready. Uh, I'm going to introduce yourself. I pre-record the interview, and I will air it uh, on the show tomorrow. Cool. Sounds good. Hell yeah. So, you. when you're ready, my friend. Hey, what's up? This is Brent from August Burns Red. Brent, welcome for the first time uh, to our Quebec radio show. Uh, I just said it, we start up the years. Um, you guys start with a tour. How crazy you are. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. We come up uh, come up your way all the Montreal, and of course it's supposed to be absolutely freezing. So <laughs> I guess that's what we get for uh, for picking the start of the year to start in Montreal. And it's funny you mention it because you're going to be in Friday in Montreal at the Metropolis. And we have the worst December, like the coolest December ever uh, in history. Yeah. Yeah, I know. We've been looking at the weather and we're all just like, great. But it's also freezing cold here in Pennsylvania. Like I think today it's nine degrees Fahrenheit. So what's that in Celsius? Like negative... 20 or something. Oh my god. It's so cold here. So, yeah. So yeah. you already got your winter clothes. Yeah, pretty much. We're all set for the cold. <laughs> It must be funny to receive people at home and have all this winter stuff say, "Oh, when we go to Canada." Or <laughs> yeah. We got that. Yeah, we have we have Yeah, we have plenty of uh plenty of winter stuff ready to go. <laughs> so um, you release uh, Phantom Anthem uh, somewhere in October, if I'm right. Yep, October 6th. So it's it's already, you know, it's it's almost six months since the release. The reception is amazing. People are yelling to have songs. I have requests, and people, it's not like, we want, you know, it's, we want fucking songs from Phantom Anthem. It's, it's just the, the album is working so well. How you felt about it, you guys, from your point of view? Well, we feel great about it. Obviously, you never know what to expect when you put out a new record as far as the fans reaction but we are extremely excited everyone seems to love the record um we asked like what songs people wanted to hear live and pretty much it came back with like play all of them <laughs> but uh <laughs> but we're just like okay so we're gonna pick six because <laughs> uh, we have to play songs from other records too so um we yeah we ended up picking the six what we think are the most popular songs off the record so far. Obviously, I think that changes for people as time goes, but as of now, we picked six songs that we think right now are the ones that people want to hear live the most. But yeah, I mean, and we're happy to play. I mean, to have to do that, to have to be like, oh man, we have to try and figure out which songs to play because everyone seems to like them all. I guess that's a good problem <laughs> to have. <laughs> Your problem. Yeah, everyone seems you. very good. Problem. <laughs> Yeah, but but it's beautiful to see you know that the, you always been you know I think you guys always been a live band and you know I I I get the fans you know they all want to hear it live because they're so much powerful yeah. and but I think with that record you reproduce kind of the energy that you got live which is kind of hard to do. Yeah, it, it definitely is hard to do. I mean, Obviously, when you're in a studio, it's a lot different setting than when you're playing live. I mean, you go out there and there's the nerves and, and all that stuff. I mean, and we're coming in playing a lot of these songs for the first time live. Um, and so, obviously, there's a little bit of nerves with that. You want to play them well. And you want to be able to have energy playing songs that you've never played live before. That's And that's also kind of difficult to do. You're just like, well, we're known for moving around a lot. But I also want to play this song really well. So... <laughs> it's kind of hard to like play a song perfectly the first time while you're trying to bang your head as hard as you can too. So 
we'll have to find that happy medium for a little bit. It's kind of how it goes. Whenever you put out a new record, you kind of need to find in the songs where you can and where you can't move around, like where you have the liberty to to bang your head really hard. And then also you need to find spots where you have to focus to play your parts well. Yeah, people have to guess you cannot jump everywhere in the studio. <laughs> no, no. But Definitely it's, not. It's a huge succeed, and congratulations, guy. I know you worked your ass. Uh, Thank you. I think it's, what, the eighth record? It's the eighth if you count the Christmas record, yep. I can't believe it. I remember the first record when you released it. It's it's It must be yeah. crazy when you think about it, you know. Do you remember the first time you guys hit the stage? Yeah, I, yeah, I remember our, yeah, I remember our first show it was in a fire hall in the middle of nowhere in Pennsylvania, <laughs> like a old like VFW style hall, and so that was our first show ever, and you know it was a blast. We had all of our friends from high school come come watch us play, and yeah, still have a ton of memories from that show. And it's fun to see that you know when you think back, you know, and now. You know the, the reaction is still crazy, and I'm sure you you know it, what you bring, what you create is so freshy. You know you 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 never reinventing the wheel, but the way you play it, it's totally different yeah. from what has been done. Yeah, I mean that's that's our goal. I mean, obviously, our band sounds like our band, and will continue to sound that way. So, like you said, we're like we're not out here trying to reinvent anything. I mean, obviously people have thought we've had our own distinct sound for a while now and you know we're just trying to keep that going and i think this record um things got a little bit heavier and darker so it feels a little bit different than the last record and like that's something that we'll try and do we're not we're not gonna change our sound completely but we'll try and keep things fresh within the little realm that we've created for ourselves And you mentioned it. It's true. It's a deep record, but you know, it's a whole experience when you listen to it. And you know, when when I listen to it, I cannot like say, okay, I'm gonna skip that song or that song. It's the whole thing together. <laughs> That's great. I'm glad. <laughs> and because there's many people that 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 don't listen the whole record anymore. <laughs> Sometimes I don't get it. You know, I'm I'm old school. Yeah. I'm like, come on, guys, if you want to feel. The experience and what those guys create, you have to fill every goddamn song together. It's the package. Yeah, that's the point. I mean, we spend time like making sure the record flows how we want it to flow. And, you know, there's some songs that start with samples, and that's because we felt that going into the next song or coming out of the song before it, it would sound better with that. So we created those things. And, I mean, you're right. Most bands have a plan for how the record's supposed to sound, and that's how it is when uh when you hear that's what that's what you get with the track list and that's why you bother to make track listing <laughs> because you have a specific idea of how you want the record to flow and all you want people to enjoy it listen to it yep yep exactly so uh, guys i repeat myself there's still tickets uh go buy them it's gonna be epic show i think it's the best way to start of the years with you guys Yeah, I agree. <laughs> Sounds good. I mean, I think it's going to be a great show. Uh, there's already a ton of tickets, though, but like you said, there are a handful of tickets left for Montreal. We know Montreal has a lot of great, uh, uh, like, walk-up sales, like last-minute sales. So we're very excited to see how many people end up coming to this one. It's going to be jam-packed. You know, people want, want to be warm. And the better way to yeah. be warm right now <laughs> with, rich. with August Burn Red. Burn us, yeah. please, guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's freaking cold out there. So, you know, come come melt a little bit inside inside a metal show. Uh, guys, it's the beginning of the year. You stopped for the tour. Uh, I was going to be the here with the release in October. Uh, the tour and then the festival kind of it, it, it us you know really quick the summer is going to happen very fast uh yeah so we this summer for us is you know pretty open we have a lot of touring in the beginning of the year um we do this tour and then we have we're main support to heaven shelburn in europe in march and april and then we're taking some time off and then um we have some plans coming up for the second half of the year, but uh, nothing that's 100% solid yet. So let's check it out. 
Brent, thank you so much for your generosity and your time. I fucking appreciate it. Um, before we leave, we're gonna celebrate our 500 episode of our radio show. Can you do us? A well, congratulations. Quick... Thanks, bro. Yeah. Can you yeah. do us a quick and simple ID, just saying, "Hi, it's Brent from uh, August Burn Red." Uh, happy 500. Happy 500. Okay, sure. Hey, this is Brent from August Burns Red. Happy 500. Hell yeah, nail it in one time, Brett. <laughs> thank you very much. Brett, thank you so much. Um, hope to see you uh, on Friday at Montreal. Um, till then, have the time of your life. It's going to be epic. Show can't wait. Great. Thank you very much. Talk to you later. Thank you, Brent. Bye-bye. Yep. Bye-bye.